Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So as you can see from the title of the video and the thumbnail, today I'm going to show you guys practically how you can speed up your old hard disk uh, by uh, at least 10 to maybe over a hundred times uh, in speed. Obviously, if you have the right tools to do that, and that can be done in only. Uh, five minutes or maybe even less if you are good at this and you know what to do but believe me this is very very easy to accomplish and i will try to keep this video a little bit short because this is going to be just an introduction on how you can do that uh, pretty easily without going into too much details because if we do go there the video is going to be fairly long so yeah i will try my best to keep it as short as possible and we're going to begin with the crystal disk mark as you see in here this uh, is the result of my current hard drive uh, which is the one terabyte hard drive that i use for my gaming uh, gaming library and obviously for uh, my personal data and i'm guessing that it, this is going to be the same scenario for you too which um, obviously you use uh, uh, a big hard drive uh, a big uh, uh, calling it like at least one terabyte and up but obviously with today's standard we have like two terabytes four terabytes and eight terabytes uh, drives becoming more and more available so if we can use these uh, tricks to speed up our hard drive that is going to be amazing as you see this is a normal hard drive it's a pretty old one to tell the truth but uh, it performs really good as you see from crystal disk mark uh, with read and write speeds uh, from 180 to 200 it depends on how full and optimized the drive is but yeah it's around this thing but what the hard drives the spinning hard drives suffer the most are the random um, random read and writes in 4k which are really really low compared at least to uh, to the standards of today SSDs which they go from 20 to maybe 60 or maybe even 100 if you use an NVMe drive uh, which is more than a hundred times faster than a normal uh, normal hard drive and yeah in normal use uh, random um, read and writes in 4k are going to be uh, most um, uh, most of the cases uh, instead of read raw read and write speeds because obviously uh, these are the speeds when you transfer big files and these are the speeds when you do normal stuff like loading games or maybe open some, some other applications and so on so we can uh, then safely say that with uh, daily normal use you are going to benefit the most from random uh, writes in, uh, in 4k random uh, write and read speeds than from raw read and write speeds uh, sequential so uh, yeah that's why i decided to make this video okay uh, the intro was too long so let's keep it uh, as short as possible uh, so these are the current results so now to do that it's uh, pretty easy we have two ways to speed up uh, our old hard drive or any hard drive that we might have um, in our uh, system and the first uh, thing that you can do if you have enough ram on your system that uh, you don't use uh, for example i have 16 gigabytes of ram and with my current usage of the pc gaming or working uh, i don't end up using more than 10 gigabytes uh, of ram maximum so let's say that uh, we can safely say that i have at least five to six gigabytes always free in my system which technically I can use uh, as a cache for my uh, uh, spinning hard drive uh, to speed that up so this means that if you have more than 16 gigabytes uh, of memory maybe 32 or even 64 you are going to be able to uh, to use more ram at your disposal as a cache to be able to speed up your hard drive and this is going to be uh, the most gain uh, that we can get um, uh, that we can get with our uh, with our uh, with the speed of our normal hard drive because obviously we know that the uh, the ram nowadays is really really fast uh, in read and write times and obviously with uh, the access time and random uh, reads and writes and obviously i'm going to show you that practically after i explain this so uh, yeah that's how you speed up your hard drive uh, you need to use cache and obviously the system itself windows or linux or uh, mac uh, in this case 
or even hard drives itself they obviously use some kind of cache but usually that kind of cache is really really small so it does not benefit um, uh, too much as you see from the results uh, but anyway they do use cache uh, uh, by a default so what we can do then uh, basically it's understandable we need to increase the cache and obviously the cache uh, is going to need to have higher speed than our uh, normal uh, normal hard drive and as we mentioned for the ram we already know that the speed of the ram is much higher than than any hard drive or uh, ssd on the market so if you have enough ram you can use that for the better case performance uh, with over 100x uh, in speed and again i will show you uh, the next way which is the easiest way and i think that uh, is the way that uh, most people might want and um, uh, need to use because it's uh, less expensive and uh, also it's a little bit uh, easier the downside is that the speeds are going to be a little bit uh well not a little bit but a lot slower than um, uh, than the way of using the RAM but at least we know for sure that it's at least it's going to be uh, way faster than the normal hard drive and obviously that is the way of using an old maybe SSD that you might have laying around on your house a small capacity one will do just fine if you don't have one you can buy them uh, pretty cheap if we go for example to eBay you can find SSDs from 16 gigabytes because 16 gigabytes is going to be enough cash for a normal hard drive for example mine with um, uh, with the one terabyte capacity 16 gigabytes is going to be enough but obviously if you go for a higher capacity ssd definitely you are going to get better speed because uh, also the ssd themselves with higher capacity they perform better in read and write speeds especially in the random read and write speeds so the higher the capacity the higher is going to be the gains in speed that we will get but uh, yeah these are all new so you can get a 32 gigabyte with the 15 dollars maybe even less but i'm pretty sure that if you uh, search locally on your area depending where you live you can find maybe 128 or two uh, two uh 256 gigabyte ssd with uh, maybe 20 dollars uh, used one or less and it's okay to uh, to be used because ssds usually have a longer span of life so it's uh, totally safe to use that uh, as a cache but yeah again a uh, uh, 16 gigabyte um, ssd which definitely needs to be faster than the hard drive you need to make sure uh, on that because there are some ssd especially if they are small capacity that do perform almost like um, uh, like a normal hard drive at least in raw read and write speeds but in random uh, read and write speeds which is normal use they are going to be still way faster than a normal hard drive but to make sure that when you go for the ssd make sure to choose uh, the fastest one that you can uh, get for uh, your money which technically as i mentioned is pretty easy to get and um, now i'm going to show you practically how you can use that ssd or your ram in your system if you have enough to speed up your hard drive the way you can use that uh, is uh, either you can use different different application or different settings from your system bios or maybe into windows to configure your ram or your uh, ssd to be used as cache which is more complex uh, and uh, i'm pretty sure that uh, maybe 80 percent of you guys are not going to be able to use that method so in this case i'm gonna go for a simple application that you can find online in this case i found out uh, primo cash which is unfortunately is uh, a payable uh, app so technically you need to buy this app but it's really cheap is you if you really want to uh, to get uh, the best performance out of your hard drive i mean if you have all of your games in a spinning hard drive uh, and all your data in there i think it might be worth it for the price but um, technically any application that you might find free or payable that uh, can use uh, can be used uh, for uh, caching your uh, hard drives uh, it's going to do just fine i uh, happen to use this one i am on a trial period right now and i'm very very happy with the results and obviously i'm going to show you practically what i mean but technically again i'm not going into detail because it will take a long time and already now we are uh, a very long time into the video so i don't want to make this uh, very 
very long but it's very easy you just open the app this is the cache that you can use uh, if you want to use uh, your uh, RAM, uh, your system memory, your RAM, but if you want to use uh, um, an SSD, obviously you need to, uh, to go to the manage uh, level 2 storage. You can create a level 2 storage with your current hard drive. Uh, SSD sorry that you want to use as cache for your hard drive and then the procedure is going to be the same as what I'm going to do here so basically it's very easy you go to the plus sign create a new uh, cache task in here these are all the hard drive that I have in my system as I mentioned at the beginning I'm going to speed up my one terabyte hard drive where I have uh, most of my games uh, not most of my game but some of my games uh, and most of my data so we're going to select the drive which we're going to to speed up the drive that we want to speed up in my case is this one so make sure to select one next obviously we click on next uh, here we select uh, how much uh, uh, os or let's say memory i'm going to use for my uh, uh, for my cache system to be able to uh, to speed up my hard drive uh, the system say uh, says automatically that I can use uh, 4 8 usually it's a little bit higher but since now I have many apps uh, open and also I ha I am also recording and obviously that takes up uh, RAM so that's why it shows a little bit less but usually it gives me like um, uh, six or six and a half megabytes of free RAM that I that I can use uh, only for cash for uh, this uh, uh, for uh, for this case. And you have to know that uh, when you set this uh, RAM, obviously you are not going to be able to use this RAM as a normal usage on your uh, PC. So make sure you have enough. But obviously you can stop the application whenever you want, so you can get that RAM back uh, anytime. Uh, anytime uh, you like so I'm not going to change anything here I'm going to leave uh, all uh, on default because uh, it works uh, it works just fine uh, but obviously with fine-tuning you can uh, achieve better uh, better performance and obviously suit your needs so it depends on what you uh, what you want to do so let's just leave it at there we will use 4.8 gigabytes of my system memory as a cache and we're going to this is the level two uh, cache as i told you uh, if you have an ssd which you need to uh, to choose uh, from the beginning to be able to have it available here and then we can uh, hit on start and as you as, and as you see now the cache uh, is uh, created for uh, my hard drive which is games uh, e with one terabyte uh, capacity now uh, it's uh, all created so we can go ahead and test the uh, the speed uh, uh, the difference in speed and obviously I'm going to do it live right now and the performance again is going to be a little bit less because uh, also I am recording so we're going to choose the one terabyte drive which we had before we'll hit on start and we'll see now the difference with the caching now uh, the system will benefit better uh, after time because obviously the caching uh, uh, the way how the caching works is that the system itself recognize the most used cases for your hard drive or your uh, files that you use the most and will take those uh, those files and will uh, insert them into the cache system that we have created to keep them ready for a next use which means that the more you use those files the more those files are going to remain into the cache so the system will know that you will use those uh, files and so you will have better performance with time but in this case as you see we went from 190 or let's say 200 megabytes of read speed now we are over 12 gigabytes of of read speed which is insane obviously this is uh, just for the amount cache that uh, we have because if uh, for example you move uh, sorry if for example you move big chunk of files uh, through your hard drive obviously the uh, the highest speed is going to be only until the cache is filled up when the cache is filled up then the speed is going to go to the normal speed of the hard drive so that's why i said at the beginning that uh, if uh, for normal use uh, for uh, 
uh, opening games uh, for opening an application for maybe looking at a video or a photo that you might have on your hard drive this is going to be fine the cache is not going to fill up uh, uh, very quickly but if you use your hard drive for big chunks of data maybe you have like 50 gigs and once or maybe 100 gigs and once then definitely you need a higher cache capacity that's why the ssds in this case come uh, uh, come in handy because uh, you can get 128 gigabytes uh, of ssd and if you have chunks like 50 gigabytes at once you can get uh, uh, you can get uh, pretty good performance with the speed of the ssd at least until again the the ssd get fills up filled up with the cache uh, system uh with the cache system which is going to take a lot if, a lot if you have 128 gigabytes uh, of ssd but yeah as you can see the ram uh, gives you insane speeds compared uh to the hard drive so yeah you get um, you get the idea of the performance that why i said at the beginning that the highest gains are going to be getting with the ram and again i can use uh, the ram i have been using it this month uh, with this um, application that i find and i'm really thinking to buy this application because it's not much uh, at least in my book if you use that um, application too much and uh, you see the difference in write speeds because uh, i chose only the read uh, or let's say by default uh, uh, the uh, the primo cache gives you cache only for read and write speeds but during the um, uh, the configuration you have the option to choose for what you need to uh, to to optimize the drive and there is an option where you can use read and and write or you know what let me just show you practically until that finishes let's say that we create a new one let's select a drive here just to see so when you go here you have preset configuration you have configuration accelerate read and write so you can choose this one select the other stuff and you can uh, do that to accelerate your drive obviously you need to make sure to uh, get the, the application to the tray and obviously uh, get the application to load up when windows loads uh, uh, when windows uh, loads up so uh, when uh, you start up your windows next time it will be up uh, and running okay we can stop now because there is no point of uh, testing the right speeds because it's going to be the same so there you have it we went from again from 200 gigabytes over uh, megabytes or oh, sorry to over 12,000 megabytes uh, of uh, speed and yeah but technically this is just a just a, synth a synthetic benchmark or maybe theoretical speed now i'm going to show you also practically the speed that we're going to get uh, uh, basically while loading games because as i told you i use this for my game so maybe you might use that for the same thing and we will see the difference uh, in speed okay guys so practically the video ended up being too long i'm sorry about that so uh, technically i decided to divide it in um, uh, in two parts uh, and i will end this uh, part by uh, showing you guys practically how you can create uh, an ssd as a cache for your uh, drive and as i told you we click on manage level uh, level 2 storage we click here we select the ssd that uh, which we are going to use as a cache and obviously you can divide the ssd into different parts if you have a different hard drive for example i have a hundred and uh, uh, 500 uh, gig uh, uh, ssd so if uh, this was just for cache i can divide the, the, this into two parts with 250 gigs and use 250 gigs for a hard drive and 200 and more 50 gigs for another hard drive or you can do the same thing with a 32 gig uh, ssd for example divide it in two 16 gigs and use 16 for one hard drive and 16 for another hard drive or in three parts depends on how many hard drives a spinning hard drive you have on your system and you want to speed up but in this case this is just going to be uh this is just going to be to show you guys how you can uh, do that unfortunately uh, i cannot show you uh till the end because you have to format the part which you want to use as cache and obviously i cannot do in here but basically you just click on format you click on next and then the partition is going to be available here and it's going to be available in this part in here where i basically created my ram cache uh, uh, ram cache uh, before then you select that one and you go ahead and do the same or you 
you double click on it and you do the same thing that uh, we did with uh, the RAM cache by selecting uh, the hard drive which you want to uh, which you want to use the cache for and so on and uh, you have created your partition and that is going to be it for the cache uh, you can create that with an SSD so, so it's uh, I think it's uh, pretty uh, pretty easy to do okay then so yeah sorry again for making these videos too long so that is going to be the end of uh, part one so stay tuned for the part two because on part two I'm, I will go I am going to show you practically uh, with the loading games uh, how much speed you can expect um, uh, to get increased if you want to use uh, the RAM cache that like I did but obviously you will get a very good uh, bumpy performance even if you use a faster SSD than your current hard drive so uh, that is going to be the same amount uh, of gain depending on the speed of the hard drive or uh, the SSD that you are going to use to cache up your uh, hard drive so well, yeah that is uh, going to be it I think I covered uh, all the things for part one so yeah catch you on uh, part two okay then so that is going to be a wrap for today thank you very much guys for being this long <laughs> with this video it really means a lot to me as usual don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also turn on notifications so you never miss one of my new videos and yeah definitely let me know in the comment section what you want me to see uh, to make next maybe with this case because this is a very long topic and that's why this video ended to be longer than i thought and i'm sorry about that and i thank you uh, f uh, and I thank you if you are still here watching this video. Okay then, so uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today. As usual, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.